Um, I, you're asking me? <laughs> no, no. Well, do you have new questions? Okay. Well, sorry. Can you go back to those? I'm, I'm, you're doing great, Jay. Thank you. Back, can you back right? So you, you guys know where I stand. There, there's still more work for me in my head before I would sign on for this plan. One, we haven't even had a chance to hear from the staff on block scheduling versus a six model schedule versus a blender schedule. And that's important. It took me a lot of years, as some of you will remember, for me to understand and accept the block schedule and the exhibition. But, but I know it works because I've had four daughters graduate from the high school. They're all well past their college years and in successful careers, largely because of the education they received from our school district. And I'm immensely proud of. But before we go to that, we've got to stop back and step step back and find out how is this going to look? How does our staff feel about it? What does it improve? What are the deficits that it's going to create? I've heard in the past, the very first presentation, they'd be completely separated. And on the second board work session, it was they would have some combining of clubs and activities. That raises a red flag. Will we be able to bust them separately? That's another question I have. Sure. I'm just going to answer only because middle school is kind of my background, those who know me, so I don't mean to jump in there. Um, uh, in our discussions, and we talked about this today in our meetings, when you see these people, they travel to the middle school. The middle school does not travel to their classrooms, for one thing. So it's not like the middle school is walking through the high school to go to a science class. That teacher is coming to them. For these, for these yellow ones up there at the high school area, for the electives, all right? Unless they're coming down into this building or into the gymnasium, which can be come down through the back here. Um, so um, that, there's a separate bus, right. No, no, the middle schoolers would come around the back and go to any elective class that happened in this building. So like um, theater or music. I mean, it's entirely separate from those buildings over there. So they wouldn't be passing through any other building to get there. And there's a separate bus. I also worked at the high school. Sorry, those who don't know me, I work now at Big Park. I used to work at Big Park Middle School. Then I was at the high school. Now I'm back at Big Park. So um, there's a separate bus drop-off area in the back as well. So they don't need to be dropped off down here with the regular population. They have their own bus circle back there. So that also could keep them separate. So. Um, Pardon me, I, 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 this was an interactive. Right? Which one? <laughs> that, it, I, you're asking the wrong well, We've got a transportation piece that we can address over here, but that's why we wanted to move through the presentation. So anyway, that's just the answers to that that you need to. Bobby, I'd like to address one of the questions. I think you were asking about after school extracurricular programs. There might be some crossover with high school clubs, with middle school clubs, and things like that. The way I envision that, and certainly there's a lot of work to be done, we researched this model, the delivery model, and the ability to meet the needs of our high school students and middle school students at the same time by sharing services. Um, between the elective teachers with both high school and middle school kids. But we have started talking about the extracurricular things that we can add to that the value added to those kids and the ability to possibly have some leadership opportunities for, say, Key Club to come over and mentor some of the middle school kids in their clubs. How your uh, National Honor Society is now going to directly uh, mentor the Junior National Honor Society. But we're talking about very s small clubs with leadership potential already there that could really provide that model experience for those younger kids. So. Yes, we did mention that, that there could be some crossover in those areas. But to be honest, we haven't really 